You know, I think about uh, the sacrifices that my father made as an immigrant from Syria to come to this country in the 80s and all the hard work that it took to make that possible for us to have the future that we, that we had and have. Um, and I think about it, especially in light of an event like this where it was about eight years until we had become naturalized citizens in this country. And subhanAllah, it was that following year that he passed away. And it was just me and him and the big blue Virginia sky. And I've thought about that moment every single day of my life, especially now that I've become a father. It's meant so much to me as well, knowing uh, that there are literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Syrian fathers who are sacrificing everything now to give their children an opportunity to have the kinds of things that I had growing up. And I also know that in light of the things that happened in Syria over the last seven years and what many of the speakers have reminded us of, that it doesn't take long for things to devolve in a very, very scary way when you have the kind of rhetoric uh, that is in power right now in this country. And I think about what many people sacrifice their lives for, journalists, citizens all over Syria, for just a very simple taste of what it feels like to have the kinds of freedoms that we have in this country. And I just urge everyone to not take it for granted. Do not take it for granted. The history of this country reminds us of that. The things that are happening in this world today remind us of that. Please do not take it for granted. And give when you can to this organization so that they can help amplify voices that need to be amplified in times like these. This last piece that I'd like to perform for you is called Close My Eyes. It's dedicated to my father, but to anybody who's lost a loved one. It's also dedicated to Dr. Meher Hathout, may he rest in peace. And it embodies the principle of um, home is not just where your grandparents are buried, but home is where your grandchildren will be born and raised. It's called Close My Eyes. So, I bet you thought that I'd forget. I'll admit I've often tried ever since the day you left. I've been feeling lost inside, waiting here with bated breath. Patiently I recollect, one foot in the grave, foolish step to take. Now wait a sec, I heard about it all before. Read it in the ancient text, messages delivered from the best of us to save the rest of us from grief, stress, and a weak chest, speechless. One tongue, two eardrums, so speak less. And yes, the meek blessed with inherit in this earth. But until then, I worry for children who perish first. Carrying thirst, walking miles for polluted water. Buried in turf, lost smiles and a slew of martyrs. Is this the type of life we're meant to be living where history's repeated, tragedies were reliving, huh? These were the kinds of conversations that we used to have, but now that you're gone, I just speak to you in song, and I, I close my eyes. I close my eyes, and I think about the sacrifices that fathers all over this world are making for their children. And I'm grateful to have had the example of fatherhood that my father gave me. I think about the fathers of children who are dying senselessly from gun violence each and every day in this country. I pray for them and for them to have strength. Now, you have an act for showing up soon as I close my eyelids. The world is black, but sure enough, your luminance is shining. They say no man's an island, and to me, you were a continent. Constantly reminding me to elevate my consciousness Now back when I was growing up You told me to keep smiling That no matter what the obstacle Nothing was impossible Timeless wisdom in your silence A language all its own Find a place your children's children love And gone and call it home And plant roots Watch your family tree grow to bear fruits can't let that pride in ye grow, set aside your ego In the eyes of people we share truth, clear through Windows to your soul center, so find an equal Whom you love being alone with to get you through this cold winter The type of guidance you provided me was priceless I can almost see you smiling while I write this at night I just, I close my eyes And I remind everyone that to the one we belong And to the one we all return for as sure as the sun will burn. I close my eyes. That's right. To the one we belong and in his infinite oneness. And to the one we all return. One day we'll all learn.
Grieving isn't easy, but the tears breed patience. Believing isn't easy, but the fears feed faith in that infinite uncertainty of certain situations. Recognize you're immortal, your demise is but a portal to surprises unpredicted by the limits of a mind. So finite that only in hindsight do we ever find what's right and what was wrong. And this is more than just a song. Sometimes your heart must skip a beat so you'll appreciate it more. And I keep calm and carry on. You want to knock on heaven's door? I'm not so sure, brother. The line is very long. And since this very dawn, mankind has never been benevolent enough to get along. At least not on a global scale, so please begin at home. I pray we're not a total fail, but indeed the good die young. Ayo, deep inside I know we'll be united very soon. That's why I say, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi. That's right. To the one we belong, and to the one we all return, for as sure as the sun will burn. We are from this earth, and to this earth we all return. For as sure as the sun will burn. Now I have seen a face with a thousand countenances, and a face that was but a single countenance as if held in a mold. I have seen a face whose sheen I could look through to the ugliness beneath and a face whose sheen I had to lift to see how beautiful it was. I have seen an old face much lined with nothing and a smooth face in which all things were graven. I know faces because I look through the fabric my own eye weaves and behold the reality beneath. Jibran Khalid Jibran. Thank you all so much. My name is Omar Afendim. Another round of applause for the Muslim Public Affairs Council for making this event possible. Have a wonderful night. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.